Hi there. In this demonstration, we're going to see how to do a little correlation and regression analysis with Minitab Express. And in this case, we're just going to do simple uh, regression, which means there's one predictor variable. And we'll use the data that we use in Chapter 10 for the temperature versus cricket chirps. You know, we're, we're suggesting that there is a positive correlation between the temperature and the rate at which the crickets chirp um, during the summer, I guess. Um, okay, so I start off with this data in Excel, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it over to Minitab Express by simply copying and pasting. So I copy, come over to the spreadsheet in Minitab Express, and hit paste. All right, so my data is now already in there. Okay, so if I start off on the Home tab, I want to go to Statistics. Now, if I was only doing a scatter plot, I could actually just go to Graphs and um, insert a scatter plot. That's easy enough, but we want a little more than a scatter plot. We want the scatter plot with the regression line and some regression analysis. So we're going to go Statistics. This is Simple Regression. The dialog box opens up. And you have to be careful to um, choose your predictor and response variables. In this case, we're assuming that the temperature is the predictor variable and that the chirps is the response variable. So you have to make sure you get those straight. Um, and we're going to do a linear regression. There's some other options. We can get some confidence intervals for our graphs. And... Um, we can also get some residual plots. So I'm not going to do either of those. We're going to keep this nice and simple and just click OK. So you get probably more than you want here, but I'll explain briefly some of the uh, extra stuff. For the analysis of variance, we're basically looking at the sum of squares of differences between the y values and the average y, and then the differences between the predicted y values and the observed y value. So you see, you square those things, you're adding them up. So these are like sums of squares. And these are all used to get um, an f statistic from the f distribution. And from that, we get a p value. And what we're looking for here are small p values. So that's good. Things are looking pretty good. And then we come down to the model summary. And it gives us r squared right here. Now, it doesn't, and this is unfortunate, I wish it did, it doesn't give us the correlation coefficient, but it gives us the square of the correlation coefficient. That's called the coefficient of determination, or we call it in the book the explained variation. So if you want the correlation coefficient, just r, you have to take this r squared and um, convert it to a decimal and take the square root. So it's a little cumbersome, but it's not that bad. And this is just a, an adjusted version of that, um, considering that it came from sample data. So we can get our R from here with a little bit of work. And then if we want to get to our regression, we can get our coefficients here. This uh, constant is basically the y-intercept. And this underneath uh, the coefficient for temperature is the slope. And we're looking, again, for p-values that are very small, especially here. And this small p-value um, lets us know that the slope is most the slope for population data is most likely not zero, and that the um, correlation is indeed significant. Okay, and so if you have trouble remembering which is the y-intercept and which is the slope, it gives you the regression equation right down here, and it puts it in terms of the variables that are the column heading. So here we have the predicted value um, for the chirping rate is equal to negative 204.21 plus 4.0669 times the temperature. This is the y-intercept, the negative 204.21, and this is the slope. So that's nice. And then the last thing it gives us, which is also very nice, is a scatter plot with that regression line that they just described above inserted into the scatter plot. So you can see how well the data fits the actual regression line. And it um, adds labels for you based on the column headings, which is nice, and it um, gives you a title. And you can copy and paste this into other documents if you like. It's, it's very uh, user-friendly. 
Um, so that's it. That's That gives you probably more than what you want, uh, but it certainly gives us what we need for our purposes. And again, just to recap, you get your data over here in an Excel spreadsheet. You paste it into Minitab Express. Go to Simple Regression. Make sure you choose your predictor and response variables. Hit Linear, linear and OK, and you're good to go. And you get a lot of stuff, more than you might want. Um, but it certainly gives you um, everything we need for our purposes. So that about wraps it up. Bye.